Welcome back to another YouTube prank. I'm your host of Prank Nation, Jeremy. Welcome back to this crazy prank. You guys already got pranked, all right? I haven't even started the video and you guys already got pranked. Let me explain. You might have clicked on this video thinking it was going to be a YouTube prank compilation. Well, guess what? You got pranked. That's because today, instead of actually pranking, I'm just gonna rant about pranking. So you might have realized, but over the last, like, year and a half to two years, pranking has luckily gone down a little bit. Pranks used to dominate the industry of- industry? Yeah, sure. The industry of YouTube. Pranks used to be all over YouTube, and now they're getting less and less common. But if you search hard enough, you can find a few gems. Personally, my favorite type of prank is the prank on minimum wage employees. These types of pranks are just Great. And you might be asking yourself, why is that the case? I'm gonna tell you exactly why. The reason people find it funny to prank these minimum wage employees is because the employees don't get paid enough to care. Picture yourself working at a McDonald's drive-thru, okay? You're getting paid like less than eight dollars an hour. You have to deal with people constantly complaining. Hi, yeah, um, excuse me, my, my burger, I ordered it without lettuce, and like, for some reason, it has lettuce on it. Hi, yeah, excuse me, I ordered the large fry and you only gave me a medium. Hi, yeah, excuse me, there's too much sauce on my sandwich. Hi, yeah, excuse me, there's onions in my salad. Just constant garbage, one after another, they are dealing with at the drive through window. And along comes pranksters like Jeremy. <laughs> Yo, uh, can I get, a uh, number seven with no burger? No lettuce. Yeah, just, just the cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually how these drive through pranks happen is prankster Jeremy pulls up in his 1992 souped up Honda Accord with his buddies in the back, trying to hold in his laughter as he orders a McDouble with no burger, no onions, no lettuce, no bun. Jeremy's just dying of laughter with all of his douchebag friends. Meanwhile, the McDonald's employee is just trying to get through an order, make it through his miserable day, and get home to feed his cats. He does not have the time nor the patience to deal with your mediocre drive through pranks. Everybody, just do yourself a favor and leave the drive through people alone. Alright, so... I, got, I gotta be serious with you guys, I gotta be honest for a second. I know I've already, in this video, been talking smack about YouTube pranksters and especially drive through pranks, but I have to admit that I've done it too. It's, it's a dark time in my past and looking back it's just disgusting and I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed. All I can say is that if I could go back reverse time, go back to the time when I was doing drive through pranks. I tell myself to put a shirt on because it was like December, 30 degrees outside. I was freezing my nipples off. Anyways, moving on to even a worse category of pranks on YouTube are the Walmart employees. Good God, the Walmart employees. It's very similar to the format of a drive through prank, except it involves you just destroying the inside of Walmart for absolutely no reason. Just building forts, lighting things on fire, just making a mess. But I'll tell you what, that's Jeremy's favorite thing to do. Dude, check out this gallon of milk. <laughs> Dude, let's see if we can get kicked out. That'd be so funny. <laughs> Yo, guys, let's make a fort out of the toilet paper. <laughs> Jeremy, just stop it. Stop. Just stop with this. It's, it's unnecessary the amount of havoc that these pranksters just create at Walmart for absolutely no reason. And I know I've been ranting about this for so long already, but if we do not stop the Jeremy's of the world going out pranking, dude, ugh, then these types of videos are just going to continue to be dominant on YouTube. They're going to continue to be more popular and just get so, so many views, much more views than I've ever gotten on my YouTube videos. Just so many... Now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, why don't I just do pranks, you know? It's like, they get so many views anyways, and that's what it's about. So, like, if you guys want me to do some pranks, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe, dude! It's gonna be gnarly! We're gonna be pranking Walmart and McDonald's all of Let's go! <laughs>